Welcome everybody, welcome back. Um, I'm going to be talking about extra accounts today and I uh, just wanted to welcome you to the channel, welcome you, welcome you to the video. Uh, really excited to have you. I've had a couple of folks ask me about some recommendations on how to set up alternate accounts to support their primary account uh, and I wanted to give you some tips and tricks on that, some advice on what I do and some of the mistakes I made that maybe hopefully you can avoid uh, and and just kind of get into it really quickly and, and again I just want to take the time to thank everybody this is the, probably the third or fourth video I've put out today but really trying really trying to start to ramp up um, what I'm doing for you guys and I hope you're enjoying what I'm putting out uh, it seems like it's getting some pretty good feedback for the most part but uh, look to, to see some more folks join up and and hopefully grow the channel a bit, uh, you know, just let me know what I can do to, to help and what I can do to, to bring content that I'm, I've not already done. I'm trying to fill the coffers up of, of videos for you guys so that you have plenty of entertaining content to watch and uh, go from there. But this video is going to be about um, extra accounts. So let's, let's just jump right into it. This is obviously my, my main account and the purpose of the the first extra account I made was to support the main account. It was solely to um, to just feed resources to the main account so that I could get to T5 faster. That was the plan. That was the vision. That is not what happened. <laughs> that is not even close to what happened. So um, let me switch to my, my second farm account, uh, or my first farm account, my second account. Um, this is on iOS, so both of these accounts are on iOS, which is one of the mistakes I'm going to jump into first. Um, so this was meant to just farm resources and send them on over, and I just I just wanted to get the account high enough so that um, so that I could have four or five if I could get City Hall 22. Really, I was thinking three or four um, army slots so that I could send out that many armies to farm that was the idea that was the basic plan but then I got carried away and um, I got carried away for the right reason but I did it the incorrect way so what I mean by that my thought process was as I was leveling this up I'm spending a crap ton of money that I could just be sending over to my main account why am I doing that and then I thought well maybe I can get to t4 on this account and then whenever there's kingdom versus kingdom or at that time whenever i started this account uh Ark of osiris wasn't out yet so i didn't know how that was going to work um i was thinking maybe i could have a secondary account that also had t4 and um i could use these to station at you know alliance fortresses or resource flags or whatever um, so that whenever that time came, I could bring more troops to bear and it would be pretty sweet. Um, again, escalated quickly. Didn't really spend much money on this account, maybe 10, 15 bucks just to get some of the recharge awards that were coming in and, uh, get a, a quick legendary with Minamoto to, um, to have to farm things. But that's about it. I mean, I didn't really spend too much into the account. This, this one's pretty much free to play and it's T4. So that just kind of goes to show you it's relatively easy to, to generate T4. This is about... A little over two month old account. I got T4 about 10 days ago, so it took me roughly two months to get. And once I hit level seven VIP, I didn't really push it anymore because again, this is a farm account or it's supposed to be. Um, but I feel like I put too much resources into it because like even for instance, so like the, the thing that I'm researching right now, right? That probably took 5 million of each resource. Um, that's probably four, 0.2 or 4.3 million resources I could have sent over to my primary account. Um, so, I mean, and that's just one thing. And that's one of 300 things that I've done to get to this point. So if you truly want to just have a farm account, don't go down that slippery slope like I did and start getting wide eyes and um, start saying, well, maybe I can have two accounts that can supplement each other with soldiers, not just resources. That was my thought. You can do that. And, and, I think I will do that, but my preference would have been to do it one on each platform. So that's the other thing. You can have two accounts per server per master account. Master account being an Apple ID or uh, a Play Store ID with Google Play. 
I would much rather have had this account on Google or on Android um, so that I could I could really kind of maneuver them simultaneously on two separate platforms. I could play the Android version on um, Bluestacks or Mimu or, or whatever, Knox, whatever else is. I've not really had good luck with Knox, but um, I could play it on my computer uh, in the background and then have my iPad Pro for um, my main account. And I could have them both working simultaneously without really having to worry about swapping between accounts and logging in, logging out. I could just have them up and running at the same time. For that purpose, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, for a farm account, it doesn't really matter. So if this was just a farm account, which is I've, now that I've gotten the T4, I'm really starting to turn this back into a farming account. And now I'm just working to get all my tier three ranked up to tier four. That's really all I'm doing. Uh, everything else is going into the coffers. So <clears throat> that's that was the big mistake that I made, um, is, is really just kind of getting wide eyes on w what this should have been versus what it could have been. So, um, and again, so you can have two accounts per platform. That means technically you can have four accounts. And you can actually have unlimited accounts. It's just a matter of how much time in the day do you want to spend <laughs> farming uh, or maintaining is, is probably the more proper word, maintaining accounts in Rise of Civilizations because it can get a bit tedious. You log in, you send farms out, you log out into another account, you send farms out. Oh, there's a recruit. You got a recruit, so you click, you click that. You got to get that done because it's free, right? You got to do it. It's it's not like you can just walk by a free setup of things, right? Oh, you got to help the Alliance channel. Okay, and then, you know, oh, what's that? We got the Mysterious Merchant. It's back. So, I mean, you, you know, it just, it, it all adds up. So the more accounts that you have, the more of that you're going to run into. And, it, you know, it, it just depends. If that's what you really enjoy doing, then you might enjoy having five, six, seven, ten accounts. But... Um, if you don't, which most people don't play this game to do that, <laughs> um, like myself, I enjoy the alliance part of it. I enjoy the civilization part of it. I enjoy the team building part of it. I certainly enjoy the fighting part of it. Um, farming is just a means to an end for me. So, uh, I want to win the events. I want to win, um, you know, Battles, Ark of Osiris, Kingdom vs. Kingdom when it comes out. Those, those are what I'm interested in. I'm not super interested in how many farmers can I send out at a time and maximizing my um, my resource uh, input. Um, I just get enough so that I don't run dry when I need it. That's really what this is about. So to me, two accounts on each platform is way more than enough. In fact, the fourth one I pretty much neglect on a regular basis. Um, I'll, you know, if I'm already in the account for the third one, which is on the same platform as the fourth one, I will kind of pop in there when I need a help on my uh, main account for a, uh, a research speed up or something. Uh, and then while I'm in there, I'll go ahead and send some folks out and tack all the, the farms and make sure that all of the, um, the buffs are running. I'll just put one 24 hour every single, every single time. I'll log in and get my VIP resources. I'll log in and get my free resources from the um, from the daily. Uh, where's that? Oh, other one. The the daily special offer right here at the top right. Um, just claim those every single day. Like just the basic stuff like that you can do and not really invest too much time in the extra accounts, but still do a pretty good job of bringing in some extra resources. Um, if I had done this right, I would have had a. I mean. I don't want to put a number to it because I really can't say, but um, I, I would venture to say, you know, 100 plus million resources extra um, would have been given to my primary account that I would not have had to purchase, um, which would have been very helpful. So um, I would say if you want to do it as a farm, do it as a farm. If you want to do it as a secondary army, do it as a secondary army. Just make it a, make it a free to play account understand that it's going to take about two months um, to get from brand new account to T4 and then 
transition it into a farming account, which is what I'm basically doing at this point. If you'll notice in the courier station, I only bought the 90% off stuff here, so here and here. And then this was a resource for resource exchange that gave me free resources. So I'm always going to buy that. I don't need to exchange food for gold right now. Now, maybe in the future I will, um, whenever I've got my T5 troops and I need to heal them or I need to train them because there's evidently a pretty heavy toll on gold at that point. I may make that trade. That may make sense. But you'll see here, I mean, there's some pretty good deals here. Um, resources for speed ups, I'll do that all day on my main account. I'd have bought both of these on my main account. I wish I could transfer speed ups <laughs> so bad. Um, but on this account, I don't need speed ups. I'm at T4. Um, I'm not in need of anything from a research standpoint or needing a building right this second. I've still got tons of speed ups in the bank, so I don't need to purchase those. And that's that's almost a million food right there and you don't even think about it right like you don't even think that that's a million food that you could have transferred to your primary account because it's such a good deal you're getting speed ups for resources and then the other two are so small i'd have probably purchased those two with my gems but um i didn't i held back i uh, i was strong <laughs> normally up until the t4 point all four of those would have been gone so that's that's the idea and then same thing like here with the stone um I do enough just to get by, and a lot of times when you're farming, um, you'll get the eight-hour stuff for the most part uh, anyway. So with the events and the farming and things like that, you'll get what you need uh, for a farming account on the, uh, the resource boosts. So generally, unless you're just you know really unlucky on one type of resource, you, don't, you won't need to purchase that stuff. And then again, I don't need any of these bottom four ones if it was a gold key i wouldn't do that one um gold star i wouldn't do that one the only thing that i would even consider on the bottom row would be xp tomes because you can't i mean you can only get so much of that um that's a very time time heavy thing and if i can spend a little bit of resources to buy tomes or a little bit of gems to buy tomes to me, that's a valuable, worthwhile purchase. Everything else, not necessary, uh, or it's a resource that I'm going to purchase from my main account. So that's how I would do it, and that's how I would do it on all the accounts. And again, two, three, four accounts total, one, two, or three farm accounts to support a primary account. I'd say that's in the realm of normal, <laughs> normal-ish. Um, as long as you don't get carried away, that's that's really my biggest recommendation don't get carried away if you're going to use a, a farm account for more than a farm account just take it easy don't go crazy um you know buy stuff that's value uh heavy uh, and really just use it as a farming account because you're going to pump in a couple hundred million of each resource to get that account to t4 and what could your primary account have been had you move those resources into the primary account versus um, using them on a secondary account. So that's how I would recommend doing it. You can do it as many as you feel comfortable with. Um, again, I think each account probably takes about um, an hour out of my day between pulling, like I said, pulling recruits, like it's already up again. So, you know, again, got to do it, right? It's right there. Um, so then and then pulling the, the resources every once in a while. And then the other thing too, so like events, like I, I farm these events sometimes, like some of these happen on their own, right? Like you'll get the training events and things like that that you're gonna do already. Sometimes I would still do these Defeat the Barbarian ones just to get the gold key to see if I can get some more resources or see if I can get a good sculpture pull or something like that. Uh, same thing for strategic reserve. I think I won one or two of these, or not one, but top ten, um, because it's a farming account and Cleopatra is a farmer. It made sense to me, so I put a little bit of extra time in it. Um, don't do obviously mightiest governor on any of the, the farm accounts, but like the, this was the yeah this was the Korea one that we just got finished up with. I did every day so that I could pull. Um, resources and uh, gold keys uh, if I was truly doing a farming account 
I would have done resources only. Like I wouldn't have even done gold keys. It just wouldn't have made sense. You can get four tabs of resources versus one gold key. Um, so that, that would have made more sense. Uh, so again, my recommendation, just keep them all farm accounts unless you want to bring an extra army or two to the battlefield as a placeholder in a alliance flag or shrine or whatever you need it for. Uh, I don't think you can simultaneously use two accounts on the same platform in Ark of Osiris because my original thought was maybe I can use one account to run the Ark of Osiris back to home base while I'm using my primary account to fill it around up front and destroy stuff. But I believe once you swap between accounts, it kicks you out and then you got to go back in and it's just more hassle than it's worth. That's why I suggested if you're going to do this, do it on a separate platform because you could technically do that. You could have your Android platinum, your Android platform be the arc runner and then you can have your primary account or vice versa, whichever way you've got it set up, um, be the one on the front lines. So um, that's my general recommendations. Don't get, don't get carried away. Use it as a farm account to feed your main account. Don't get carried away. <laughs> don't get carried away. Um, and don't spend too much time on it. I mean, you, the more time you spend away from your primary account, the slower it's going to grow. And I, I would say you can easily add an additional 10 million resources a day with having three farm accounts. Um, each to your primary account, which is pretty substantial. That's definitely going to cover your training. That's definitely going to cover any of your upgrades for the most part until you start getting into the higher tier upgrades that cost, you know, 10 to 20 million resources each. Um, it will help. It will definitely help and it will stack up significantly. So that's my recommendation. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, you know, whatever, Please feel free to reach down below, and, and, and I'm happy to answer. I, I try to answer every question and comment that comes in, and I want to show you that I appreciate y'all and uh, you know, helping me grow this and, and do the things that I like to do on top of what I do in my normal life. So um, hope you enjoyed this video. I think uh, this is something that's one of those things that sets the regular apart from the, the folks that are really investing in the game and wanting to do really well is having these backup accounts that are feeding the primary. This is something that maybe everybody doesn't really think too much of, or they've got one, um, which is fine. Uh, but if you really want to maximize your potential, having a couple other ones just for farming is not a bad idea. So hope this has uh, helped you conquer your world. And um, again, reach out below. Let me know if there's anything else y'all want to see uh, done. Uh, as far as topics covered and things like that. I'm um, looking forward to bringing more content to you. I'm going to be going on business travel the next two days. I will be on, but I won't be able to make videos. Uh, I'll be away from the house. So um, look forward to seeing you all there and I'm reply back and all that good stuff. But until then, until next time, um, this is Dragothian signing off. And again, hope you all have a great day. I'll talk to you all later. Have a good one.